Hey, so I wanted to make this video and my motivation behind doing it is to encourage people, especially encouraging young people. And Helen, my wife, shared with me a meme that was on social media, on Facebook. And this meme is JOMA, which stands for the joy of missing out. So to give you some context, oh, about 10 years ago, maybe longer, I started seeing this, this theme on social media called the fear of missing out. And basically what the fear of missing out is, is it's people of all ages, but it's mostly people, mostly millennials, as they got into their 20s and were on social media 24 seven, they see experiences that other people have, vacations, sporting events, parties, food, uh, hobbies, you know, cool stuff that they do, that other people do. And then what that does is that inspires this thought that they're missing out on a good life. They're missing out on a rewarding life. So that fear, that anxiety drives people to try to emulate those experiences. Now, kind of the consequence, there's two consequences that's arisen from that. One, you have a lot of young people, and it's not just young people, but mostly young people, that are now in a mountain of debt because of that. Uh, and they're still left with their fear, their anxiety, and their depression because there's still this never ending train of things that they see on social media that they're missing out on. So there's been a response. There's now Joma, the joy of missing out. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about and maybe help someone somewhere who was intended to watch this video kind of gain a new perspective on things. So it is, I think, a common sense reality that you're not going to be able to experience everything. You're not going to be able to afford it. You're not going to have the time. Um, there's this idea in economics called opportunity cost where you do one thing at the expense of another thing. Like I'm a pool player and there was a guy who's really into pool, really practiced a lot, played tournaments, league, just maxed out, pool, 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 24 seven. And he says, hey, am I missing out on other stuff? And the quick and easy answer to that is yes. You're gonna do one thing at the expense of other things. You're gonna spend your money on one thing uh, at the expense of not being able to afford other things. Your money is not infinite. And, and so it's true as, uh, of your time and your other experiences. So my viewpoint on this and how I've always processed this is based in my, my spirituality. It's based in my understanding of the gospel that uh, no matter what I own, no matter what, uh, how little money I have or little time that I have, there are still beautiful things in the world. There are still great experiences that can be had that you can, that are in a lot of cases free. For example, I'm taking a walk right now. Uh, this walk is free. I didn't have to pay for it. I am missing out on other things, but I am in the moment. And when I walk, I'm in the moment. I know why I'm doing it. It's for my health. It's for my mental health. It's for my physical health. Uh, I get to run into my neighbors and speak to them. Um, there's a lot of things that, that is joyful about just simply taking a walk. Um, in my hobbies, I've always found an immense amount of satisfaction, joy, uh, even this self-discipline in engaging in my hobbies. And my hobbies have always given rise to relationships and not just shallow relationships, but long-term relationships. Because when I do my hobbies, I share them with other people and I share them uh, with my friends and my family as much as I possibly can. So there's a lot of joy in doing that. Um, 
There's a lot of joy just in being silent. There's a lot of joy in solitude. There's a lot of joy in not having to do things and to appreciate you, you observe the world and then you have ex good experiences when you can. And when you're in those experiences, you want to be absolutely present in that moment and cherish every minute that you have with what you're doing. And if you kind of take that mindset and that approach, uh, you'll find a lot more satisfaction in life. And there, you'll find that the deeper you get into what you're doing, the more you discover, uh, the, the more good things you discover about it. Um, I'm gonna leave you with another thought, and I really don't care if this video runs a little long. The Japanese, I don't know if this is a, a Buddhist idea, like a Zen Buddhist idea or a Taoist idea, but there's this idea called Yugian. And basically what Yugian is, is not feeling uh, this anxious emotion or this anxious desire to know and to experience all things. So for example, I was out on a lake on a boat ride. We were going fishing. And on the other side of the lake, I saw this big flock of birds. And I thought, hmm, it would be interesting just to scoot over there and observe all these different species of birds as they're gathering on the lake. But we didn't have time for that. Um, that wasn't where we were going. So I just had to let the thought of that experience go and move on with my own path and my own life and just kind of have satisfaction in the thought of experiencing that without experiencing it. There are things in my life I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to go to Europe. I'm 49 years old. I don't think I'm ever going to go to Europe, any part of it. Uh, I've always wanted to be a spelunker. I've always wanted to explore caves. I've always wanted to have a sailboat and learn how to sail. Um, there's a, I've always wanted to have enough land to maybe do some homesteading. But I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I don't have the situation to do any of those things. But the thing is, I've never allowed that to be a source of disappointment, uh, never a source of, of fear or depression because I haven't been able to do those things. Um, and this kind of ties back into my spirituality. I always give thanks and recognize the good things that I do have and the good things that I do have time and money to do. But above all, I give thanks for the relationships that I've built around the things that I do. So and in that, I'm very grateful, very satisfied, and I, I can genuinely say that I do experience and feel the joy of missing out. So whoever watched this to the end, I, uh, I hope maybe this helps you. See you soon.